children today we will learn about boxes and their net appu has received a big order of sweets from a wedding he has asked chanda to come to his house to help with the packaging of sweets appu needs to pack laddus first he asked chanda to bring the empty boxes for the laddus from another room chanda went to the other room and came back empty handed chanda told appu that she could not see any empty boxes in the other room now appu went with her to the other room he showed chanda the cardboard cutouts and said here are the empty boxes of laddus chanda was puzzled she could not understand why appu was calling those cardboard cutouts as empty boxes children are you also wondering like chanda why appu said this let's see what appu explains to chanda appu showed chanda a cardboard cutout he asked chanda to fold the cutout on the line with dots on it chanda began to fold the cutout in this manner chanda couldn't believe her eyes the laddu box was ready by folding the cutout on those dotted lines children were you also shocked like chanda do you recognize this shape of the box it is a cuboid every face of a cuboid is rectangular do you know that two dimensional shapes like the cutouts of this cardboard which when folded we make three dimensional shapes like the cuboid this is called the net of the shape appu also explained to chanda about the cuboid and its net chanda and appu packed all the laddus now appu wants to pack cashew cutli chanda now saw cutouts of cashew cutli boxes which look different from the cutouts of laddu boxes chanda is wondering if these cutouts will make boxes children look at the shape of this cutout and answer is this shape also a net of a cuboid in other words can we make a box shaped like a cuboid by folding this cutout on the dotted line you can find the answer to this question by pausing the video that's correct from the cutouts also we can make a cuboid shaped box yes children many two dimensional nets of any three dimensional shape such as cuboids can be made we can make any box by folding various types of nets chanda was happy to learn about the cuboid shaped net and chanda and appu packed all the sweets in this lesson children we learned about the cuboid and its net in the next video we will learn about the cube and its net kids in the previous video we learned about the cuboid and its net in this video we will learn about cube and its net today is appu's birthday chanda has brought four toys as gift for him from gaggu's rhino shop of these shape kids can you recognize this shape yes it is a cube a cube is a three dimensional shape in which all the faces are square 
Chanda wants to put these gifts in a box and then give it to Appu. But she does not have any box of this shape. Then Chanda remembered the concept of net she learned from Appu. Now Chanda quickly took a thick paper and made a shape like this on it. Kids, can you look at this shape and tell whether is it a net of a cube or not? In other words, can we make a cube-shaped box by folding this shape on these dotted lines? You can pause the video to find the answer. Let's see if your answer is correct or not. Chanda cut out the shape and began to fold it this way. Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. This shape is the net of a cube. And see that a box for Chanda is ready. Now Chanda has to make three boxes for the toys. Chanda remembered that Appu told her that more than one net of every three-dimensional shape is possible. Chanda now made a shape like this. Can you tell whether this shape of Chanda is also a net of a cube or not? You can pause the video to find out the answer. Absolutely correct! From this shape also, we can make a cube-shaped box. Kids, can you help Chanda in making a third cube-shaped box? Keep in mind that all the six faces in your figure should be square. And when folded, they should form a cube-shaped box. You can stop this video and try to make it in your notebook. Kids, you can make this shape in these ways too. Chanda made another box out of the figures you just saw. Now to make the last box, Chanda is thinking that she will make a cube-shaped box without a lid and stick a colored gelatin paper on its open face. Chanda has made different shapes in this way. Can you tell? If she will be able to fold this shape and make a cube-shaped box without a lid, you can pause the video to find the answer. Yes, kids! We can bend this shape in such a way to make a cube-shaped box without a lid. Chanda's boxes are all ready and she is going to take them to Appu's party. Kids, in this lesson, we learned about the cube and its net. In the next video, we will learn more about three-dimensional shapes and their nets. Kids, in the previous video, we learned about the cube and its net. In this video, we will learn about other three-dimensional shapes and their net. When Chanda reached Appu's party, she saw that there were many people there. Chanda noticed that Babban brought a pencil box of this shape for Appu. Chanda is thinking, that if she had to make a box of this shape, how would she do this? Kids, can you recognize this shape? Yes, it is a triangular prism. A triangular prism is a three-dimensional shape which has five faces in total, of which Two are triangles and the remaining are 
rectangular faces. Can you draw the shape of the net of this triangular prism? To do this, come, let us open the prism. In this way, by opening the right rectangular face, we can begin to draw the shape of a net. Then we can also open the left rectangular face in this way. Then at the end, we can open both the remaining triangular faces in such a way as to form the shape of the net of a triangular prism. Kids, can you make another shape of a net of triangular prism? You can pause the video to find the answer for this question. Well then kids, you can also make a shape of net of a triangular prism in these ways. You solve the confusion of Chanda by making these shapes of nets. Let's see what Chanda is doing now. Chanda now saw everyone in the party wearing a hat of this shape. She's wondering what shape is this? And what will the shape of its net look like? Do you recognize the shape of the cap? This is an open cone. It is a three-dimensional shape which has only one curved surface. Chanda, in order to know the shape of the net of the open cone, took a hat and opened it in a way. Kids, the shape of the net of an open cone looks like this figure. Chanda saw two more such shapes in the party. Can you help Chanda make net of these shapes? You can find the answer by pausing the video. Kids, you have found the right answer. You can also draw shapes in these ways. Chanda is now roaming around in the party and is looking at other shapes and is thinking how to make the shapes of their net. You should also look at the shape of the object around you and try to make the shape of their net. Kids, in this lesson, we have learned about triangular prism, open cone and other three-dimensional shapes and their nets. Kids, till now we have learned about boxes and their nets. In this video, we will learn about some of the misconceptions related to it. Appu suddenly came to the Babel uncle's house today. A cardboard cutout is also seen in his hand. When the uncle asked him the reason for his sudden visit, Appu told him that he bought cutouts of some cuboid shaped boxes. But now, despite his efforts, he was not able to make boxes from them. Uncle took that cardboard cutout from Appu. The cutout was of a shape like this. Kids, how many surfaces do you see in this cutout? Alright, six surfaces. Are all these surfaces rectangular? Yes, all surfaces are rectangular. Then can it be possible that this cardboard cutout is not a net of a cuboid shaped box? Let us try to fold this cardboard cutout. Here, the two left surfaces are covering the same part of the box. While there is no surface on this part of the box. Thus, we are not able to make cuboid shaped box. 
kids is it possible to have more such shapes which have six surfaces and all the surfaces are rectangular also but we cannot make a cuboid by folding them every two dimensional shape with six rectangular surface might not be a net of cuboid appu was shocked he asked the babble uncle is the same possible for the shape of a cube as well then babble uncle made a shape like this on a thick paper and gave it to appu he asked appu to fold this net now let's see how appu is folding it appu was once again shocked hey this figure did have six surfaces and all the surfaces were square yet i could not make a cube from it yes kids it is possible to have more such nets which have six square surfaces but by folding them we cannot make a cube in other words every shape with six square faces is not a net of a cube children now can you tell which of these shapes is the net of a cube and which is not if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done kids you have found the right answer Appu was very happy to learn about the misconceptions related to the net from his uncle and he happily returned to his home kids in this lesson we have learned about some of the misconceptions related to boxes and its net In this video we will learn about the views or perspectives of looking at three dimensional objects Appu Sher Khan Gaggu and Golu are playing a game Golu has made a shape out of the boxes in the other room Appu Sher Khan and Gaggu will look at that shape by turns and come back and make a picture of it then the person whose picture most resembles golu's shape will win first appu saw the shape made by golu and went and drew his picture then sher khan also went and saw the shape made by golu and made his picture and finally gaggu went and saw the shape made by golu and made his picture all three were shocked when they showed their pictures to golu the pictures made by the three of them were completely different appu's picture was like this gaggu made such a picture and sher khan's picture look like this children can you tell how this can happen when the three saw the same shape how were their pictures so different golu made such a shape out of the boxes now the three friends started quarreling about whose picture best matches the shape made by golu what do you think is the correct answer yes the pictures of all the three friends are absolutely correct first appu saw the shape made by golu from the front view in this way and made this picture gaggu saw the shape from the side view and made such a picture and finally sher khan saw the shape from the top view and made such a picture 
children can you tell by looking at uh, which of these pictures you can find out the length and height of golu's shape that's correct from this picture and uh, from which picture can we find the length and breadth that's right from this picture in this way children can make three dimensional views of any two dimensional shapes top view front view side view now it was sher khan's turn to make shapes from the boxes sher khan created such a shape can you draw all the three views of the shape made by sher khan if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done children you have made a perfect picture all friends kept playing together children you can also play this kind of game with your friends children in this lesson we learned about the views or perspectives of looking at three dimensional objects children in the previous video we learned about different views of three dimensional objects in this video we shall see some interesting examples of making deep drawings of the different views of three dimensional objects appu sher khan gaggu and golu are playing a new game today appu has created views of a three dimensional model golu sher khan and gaggu together have to make a picture of that model from these paintings here is the top view of appu's model this is the front view and this is the side view let us see how they are drawing the model children what shape of blocks do you see in these three pictures correct they are all square what is a three dimensional shape that looks like a square from the front view top view as well as from the side view exactly it's a cube in this way the three of them also discovered that the model was made using blocks that were cube shaped first they saw the picture that was made by looking at the front view of the model children can you see this picture and guess how many cubes are there in the height and length of the model you can find the answer by pausing the video Your answer is absolutely correct. The height of the model is 5 cube and the length of the model is equal to 2 cubes. So, they created a model in this way using cubes. Now, the three of them looked at the picture which was made by looking at it from the side view. and found how many cubes are there in the breadth of the model can you find the answer yes the breadth of the model has 2 cubes if we look at the model that has been made so far from the side it looks like this and the side view of appu's model looks like this can you think of what blocks we need to add now If you wish you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children. You got the answer exactly right.
the model has two vertical lines in the side view and each line has five cubes in it. In the side view of the model made so far, we see only one vertical line. So Golu now made another vertical line with five cubes like this in the model picture. Now the three friends finally saw the remaining image of the top view of the model. Children. Can you guess what is the difference between this picture and the top view picture of our model so far? You can find the answer by pausing the video. That's right! There are four squares in the picture of the top view of the model. But if we look at our model from top, only three such squares will be seen in it. So, what shall we do now? Yes, now in this way, we will add one cube each at the bottom and at the top of the model. In this way, the three friends together completed the picture of the model. Come see if they have the picture correctly. Looking at the picture of their model and the model given by Appu, are they matching? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Yes, the picture of the model made by the three friends is perfect. See how they are dancing happily. Here are pictures made by looking at the front, top and side views of a second model. Can you along with your friends try and find which model was observed to make these pictures? Try to find the answer. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some interesting examples of making deep drawings of three-dimensional shapes from their different views.